Did you break down already? Don't worry about it. I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to explain how to get towed home. So here we are, we've got our tow snowmobile, the tower, and the towee. So in this case, both of these are, are fine, there's nothing wrong with them, but we're gonna use this as the, you know, let's say this, this snowmobile has been broken down and I needed to get it out, you know, maybe we're in the woods someplace or, you know, I need to tow it home or I just need to get it unstuck or something. So before you tow a snowmobile, you always want to disconnect the belt. Okay, take, remove the belt. Now on this snowmobile, it's pretty easy to do because it's wide open here. On, snow, on some snowmobiles, it's all packed in there really, uh, really good. And you might think, well, I'll just skip that part. I'll skip it. What's, what's it gonna hurt? Nope, don't do it. Always, tr always remove the belt before you tow a snowmobile. Now, so the first thing I've got here that I can use is something like this. This is a pretty inexpensive tow rope, I think under $20, might be under even $10, I don't remember. This is a kind of a Y rope here. So we've got one, one hook that's got two ropes attached to it. And then each one of these goes to either side of the snowmobile. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Unfortunately, this is a pretty short rope. And you can see I've got, the snowmobiles are pretty close together. If this snowmobile was in a tough spot, maybe it was uh, around a corner or um, it was in a weird area, this rope isn't gonna be long enough. And then I need something else to reach it. And I'll show you that in a minute. But the first thing, first thing you gotta do is, what I would do is attach it to the lead snowmobile, get the snowmobile close enough. And then when you attach the rope to the snowmobile, you don't want to, you never want to attach the ski loop. This is plastic and it's not gonna withstand the force of pulling a snowmobile. This is not that strong. So what you do is you wrap it around the ski spindle or hook it to the ski spindle. So now I've got a good, I've, it's all steel. I've got a good surface to actually connect to. So I'll do that on both sides. And now I'm ready to tow. Now, what I would do, because you still need somebody to steer the snowmobile, is whoever snowmobile it is, you would have them sit on the snowmobile and steer and use the brakes. Let's say that maybe you don't have somebody that's able to ride on the snowmobile. Let's say, for instance, that a friend of yours broke down in the woods, got a ride home, and said, hey, I need you to go up and get my snowmobile. And you're all by yourself there is a way. What you do is you take the rope and before you attach it to the ski spindle, you loop it around the, around the, the ski loop. Now, you know how I said that the ski loop is gonna break if you put pressure on it. But right here, I'm putting, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it, but most of the pressure is coming, is, is being applied to the steel the ski spindle, where it's the strongest. Now you've got control of the steering. So when the snow, you, the tow snowmobile turns, the snowmobile being towed will also turn. So this is a handy little trick to know if you're towing it by yourself. Even if you're you know, with a buddy, maybe you wanna do it this way just to kind of keep things under control. All right, so let's say for instance that you either have a rope of some kind, you don't have one of these types of tow ropes, or this is too short. There's another way. All right, so this happens to be a product from a company called Snow Bungie, and uh, this is a, a neat little tow rope here. One of the neat things about it is that it's small, but yet it's rated for 2,500 pounds. One of the things you have to be concerned with is making sure you have something that's strong enough to 
actually pull not only the snowmobile, the full weight of the snowmobile, but everything on the snowmobile, the fuel, the person that's steering it, all that stuff, and all the snow and ice that goes with the snowmobile and the, the resistance when you tow a snowmobile. Now you can see this is a pretty long, this is a pretty long tow rope, and there isn't much to it. It's actually a pretty simple design here. So first of all, this is rated for a lot of weight, 2,500 pounds. It's nice and long and it's easy to use. We have one end of it here. Let me take my gloves off so you can see my hands. One end of this just has a loop and the other end also has a loop. So what you do is, this is the working end of the rope and all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it through a ski loop, around a ski spindle, across to the other side, ski spindle, through that loop And now you feed the whole thing right through there like that, just like that. Now you take this end here and what you need is something, a carabiner or something. I looked quick and I, oh, this is the only carabiner that I found that would be worthy of pulling something, but I don't, I guess I would use a, a heavier duty one of these for simplicity's sake. I'm just showing you this, all right? So get something that's rated for this type of, uh, of weight. So all I'm gonna do is, is hook to that loop and then hook to the snowmobile like that. Now I'm ready to tow. You don't need to put it through the ski loops. You can just wrap it around the ski spindles. That's the strongest part of the snowmobile and it will pull just fine. Like I said, if you have somebody that will steer the the best thing to do is just leave the ski loops out of it wrap it around the ski spindles the spindles and just pull it that way with this type of uh, setup that's probably the best thing to do anyway so really it's that simple you just want to to wrap it around the ski spindles for the vehicle that's being towed find some way of attaching it to the tow snowmobile and you're set to go what you want to do when you're towing is be nice and smooth. Don't take off in a rush, no jerking motion, and you wanna be very predictable. So if the person in back doesn't know you're stopping, you're gonna run into each other and you know, that's bad. So you want to, you want to make sure that you're predictable, that when you come to a stop that you're doing so nice and slowly so that the person behind you has a chance to use the brakes and the same thing when you take off, you wanna take off nice and slow, make sure that you have good tension on the rope and always be nice and smooth. All right, hey, I hope that helps beginners and I hope I see you on the trail.